uh, we studied uh, the Renaissance in the uh, 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 before this, and uh, now we are going to study the Industrial Revolution, which took place in the time of Renaissance. Uh, Europe, uh, due to the wages of discovery and due to this Industrial Revolution, becomes the power of the world, and still it's leading in the world in different fields. So let's study in detail about this uh, uh, Industrial Revolution. Now, Industrial Revolution took place in 18th century AD and uh, in this time agricultural societies uh, went towards industrialization. Uh, how? You see, the, the, there was the use of wood. In the early 18th century people were using wood for all their uh, necessities like for fire, for making fire, for uh, buildings and for all other uh, necessities they were using wood. But scientific inventions revolutionized the lives of the people. Now, uh, they went out of uh, the, their traditional life and their uh, miserable condition and now their lifestyle became uh, a, a standard one. The discovery of fossil fuel. Fossil fuel means coal, oil and natural gas. Now, uh, this fossil fuel uh, made the uh, people's life and made the world a standard and uh, developed one. The most progress and developed world was made due to the discovery of fossil fuel. Now, people, uh, use of coal, use of oil and use of natural gas, uh, the world went ahead uh, to the very high extent. Agriculture pro uh, provided raw material for the industries. Agriculture produced the different crops and industries then made different things from it for the standard lifestyle of the people. Coal becomes the biggest source of energy uh, in the time of Renaissance and uh, now England uh, becomes the leading power, uh, industrial power in this time of Renaissance. Then other European countries also follow England and they also go towards industrialization, they also go to, uh, towards the discoveries and inventions and the use of fossil fuels and the use of coal and they are also developed. Now, uh, what is uh, inventions were done in this time? Number first was uh, spinning, spinning jenny. Spinning jenny is a uh, wooden uh, thing on which you uh, make the cloth. So it is wooden. First, people were using cloth by hand. It took a lot of time, and at one time, one thread was used. Uh, but in 1764, a British carpenter, James Hargreaves. He invented spinning jenny, in which at one time eight spindles were used. At one time, you could you, uh, put eight threads in eight spindles, and by turning a single wheel, by turning a single wheel, eight threads were spindled, and the cloth was made speedily uh, in a very less time and very easily. Now, this improved textile industry in the world. Another uh, invention was steam engine. Steam engine was uh, invented by James Watt in 1776 and now this steam engine became the driving force for the industrial revolution. With the invention of the steam engine the world was totally changed and steam engine gave a boosting to the progress and development uh, of uh, the societies. Now this was for the first time used for pumping water from the coal mines and to load and to lift the loaded coal from the mines to, to uh, upwards. Uh, then later this steam engine was used in the railway also and uh, far off areas were connected with the urban areas due to this steam engine. So uh, the, the distances among the people became less and uh, people were able to communicate easily with one another. <laughs> Railways Due to the steam engine, then the steam engine led to the development of railways, the invention of railways. It was George Stephenson in 1830 who developed, who invented this railways. Now, railway line in, uh, in a wagon, the steam engine was used and uh, railway lines were laid among cities and far off areas to the, to, uh, and uh, connect, it connected with the, uh, the urban areas with the rural areas the, and the far off areas with the cities. Now, this steam engine and railways uh, made the British economy very strong and British went ahead to become the industrial power of the world. 
Another uh, invention is telegraph. Before telegraph, people were sending messages uh, in different uh, traditional ways. For example, uh, people collected letters and then they were put in a bag and a bag was taken by a person uh, sitting on a horse to another area. Or uh, some people were using uh, the pigeons uh, and uh, through pigeons legs the uh, message was sent to other person. So due to the uh, uh, invention of telegraph all these traditional ways of uh, sending messages uh, vanished and the long distance communication became possible. Uh, in, the, in the telegraph the messages were transmitted through electrical signals over wires from one station to another station. So it's uh, uh, in a very less time, in a very very less time people uh, got messages from each other and people uh, got awareness from uh, uh, about one another. So it brought the world uh, uh, near, very near. So we can say the telegraph is the start of the, uh, of the world to be made a global village. So telegraph is a start of making global village and then uh, we go ahead towards other inventions of today's. So uh, dear student, this is uh, about the uh, industrial revolution in the time of renaissance which led uh, first uh, England and then other European countries to the industrial power and uh, still they are leading in the world. Uh, still inventions are going on and discoveries are going on. So you uh, read this carefully and then uh, ask me questions in your Zoom meetings. Thank you.